it's always great to greet you through these videos. Can you remember an act of kindness which was shown towards you and meant a lot to you? Perhaps more easily to your mind comes a memory of someone who was unhelpful and perhaps unkind to you. Both occasions may stand out in your mind, but the act of kindness, well, that was special. Robert and I have had the privilege of serving in different countries, and we have so appreciated the kindness and thoughtfulness of others who understand that many things are unfamiliar to us and have gone out of their way to make us feel welcome. When we think about being kind, our thoughts should turn to God himself. In Titus 3 verses 4 to 6 we read, But when the kindness and love of God our Saviour appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us. And from Ephesians 2 verses 7 to 9, Now God has us where he wants us with all the time in the world and the next to shower grace and kindness upon us in Christ Jesus. Saving us is all his idea and all his work. All we have to do is trust him enough to let him do it. It's God's gift to us from start to finish. Our salvation is not through works, but because of God's grace and expression of his kindness. Throughout Scripture, we are exhorted and commanded to be kind even to those we do not like. The reason for this is that God is kind even to those who are ungrateful and hurtful. Maybe this month we could consider and reflect on God's kindness in our lives by rereading Titus and Ephesians. As we read, we can examine our own interactions with the people we are meeting and ask God to show us areas in our lives where we could improve and reach out to others with acts of kindness. May God bless you as you seek to be kind to others because kindness matters. Kindness matters.